Hello family, welcome to Zui Academy. This is Zui and I'm here to take you through uh, to take us through what we refer to as lines of intersection. And before we continue, I would like to request you to subscribe to my channel, share my YouTube links and like my videos. And this one you will be notified each and every time I upload something new on my channel. Now the question we have today is a vertical square prism of length 50 millimeters and the base side of 30 millimeter is intersected by a horizontal square prism of base side that 20 millimeter so that axis intersect the axis of the horizontal prism is parallel to the vp or the vertical plane while the faces of the two prisms are equally inclined to the vertical plane plane draw the projections of the solids the two solids showing the lines of intersections the plan and the development of the vertical prism. Now here there are points we need to note. The first point is that the axis of the two cylinders, not cylinders but prisms are joining perpendicularly and that they are one we are we have been informed that the axis of the horizontal prism is parallel to the VP and the faces are inclined to the VP, both for the adjoining uh, prism and the one that's vertical. So one, we need to consider that if let's say, uh, we are using an illustration here, this is a, a horizontal plane together with a vertical plane and we place our prism in such a manner, then it means the base, which is of course a square base, this side and this side are inclined to this plane, the vertical plane and again this side and this other side eh? this one here are also inclined so this is how we are going to place the base but not this way okay if we place it this way then it means two sides are parallel another two sides are perpendicular to the vp so it means therefore that we shall start by drawing the plan before we project to the uh, front elevation so let's first of all draw a baseline here which we shall set our plan. Let me have my baseline here. This is my baseline. Now we can start here. At that point, we draw the inclined lens for the base. Remember the base is of side 30. So we can have the first one, first inclined plane. We draw it. Here it is, and again we get another one here. Draw this. Now we measure 30 millimeter because the sides are 30. Let's we'll measure 30 millimeter. This is 30, so we bring it here, cut, and also come here and cut. And once we are here, we can get our other corner here. So this one gives us a complete. Square base. We can join from there to there. Also join. Now once we have that, we can also now again draw base where we establish our front elevation. Remember the length of a vertical prism measures 50 so you project from the plan to get our front project from the plan so the first projection is here you can also have the other projection on this other side so this is how we project and then we measure our height which is 50 from here we can have our 50 
we begin from 1, 6 becomes our 5, here we are, then we complete. There we are. Now next, we do not know how we are going to draw, where we are going to position our intersecting cylinder because we, according to the question, we have not been told where it starts from. But so what we can do, we can get to know how, uh, what is the size of its square base. And from there, we can uh, put a center line, not really a center, but an axis in a place whereby it will accommodate. So we can put somewhere in the midway. At this point, we want to have what we are referring to as the axis. This is the axis for the intersecting cylinder. Now once we have done this, we again been told that the edges are inclined. So that is how they are going to to, uh, the, we are going to position it. If that is the way we are going to position it, it means we first of all draw our end elevation from which we, we shall project to the front and we complete our front elevation. This one will assist us. So how do we go about it? Again, on this center line, it means we are going to have an end elevation here for the intersecting cylinder. Let's have it here. So for us to draw the end elevation, it means we can, I just want us to have uh, an end elevation that is included in part of the front. Let it, be, uh, let it be part of the front elevation. Though it's just a guideline, a construction. So we can, let's say, start here. The first one, the first line goes this direction then again the lower side then the side is 20 so we get to measure 20 and place it here 20 this is 20 then we knock it here cut it's here sorry and cut so we have completed our end elevation for the intersecting cylinder not cylinder but prism there it is Remember, we are doing the prism intersection, not cylinder. So if in case I mention cylinder, you'll forgive me for that. Now, once we have done this, we can name. Let's say we name this as 1, 2, 3, 4. We are naming according to what I have here because it will assist us somewhere. So this is how we have named there. Okay, let's proceed. Now next, we are going to project lines from this back to the front elevation. So we can project lines from here. So this is how we project from the end elevation to the front. Now let's assume our intersecting cylinder, its length reaches somewhere here. If it reaches somewhere here, we are going to, or we shall get to draw that vertical line downwards. This line will have to move down. A construction line and it's a projection line as well and move it down so this is how far it goes down 
So if it goes that way, remember this is 1, and this is 4, and this is 2 on this side, and the other side is 3. Now, on the plan, again, we are going to have another auxiliary, another auxiliary similar to this on the plan. So it means we draw a set line through the center point. We want to gain, again to have an auxiliary square for the base. Can just draw it the way it is. Now uh, there we are. Once we have done so, we want now to get to know how to get the, uh, the line of intersection. And as I've said, we are going to duplicate this on the base. So again, we can still bring, because we are doing the projection, we can still bring this auxiliary. It is this auxiliary you want to establish. Just want to have a replica of what we have up here. It's very simple. You can just bring it here. And then once we are there, we can again bring this other side here. Then you just take the dimensions where they are from up here. Just bring them down here and draw that arc. Also draw it down here. Sorry. Then you use your 45 degree set square to draw this side. We are duplicating what's, what we have up here. So I bring this. Also bring this other one. We just complete. It's the same. So you bring it here, cut, come here, and cut. So we have just made a replica of this auxiliary square up down here. Now, I want us to see how we are going to do the labeling. Look, this is one, two, three, four. If you happen to look at this from top, from top and we want to draw the plan of these points this number one should be in the midpoint or in the mid mid value that means it will be here here and then two and three will be on the other side top and down one and two one and four will be at one point because one will be vertically up another one will be vertical down this is what we are implying if we draw the plan of this this number one should appear here, and the four, 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 the one that is at uh, the fourth one, the fourth corner should be below, directly below one, and three will be above the other side, and two will be on this other side. And now, if we let's say we are making it to appear the way it is, here it is, okay, so this one becomes number three. And this one is one and this one is four and this one is two because this is how it will look like okay this is how it will look like if you bring it here okay so this is how we label its elevation because this is the plan now if that is the plan we are saying this is number one and four 
Therefore, how do we get number two and three? It means we project from this end elevation, this auxiliary, back to our plan. So it has to come this way and meet this, that line there, that plan there, and also bring number three to meet it. Three also comes and meets it there. So this is how it goes. Now it's saying this is point three and this is point two as per our labelings one four two three and this is the elevation from this side the right hand side now once we are done this way we are done we can now be able to draw our our line of intersection so how do you go about it we are first of all going to bring our edge down here then we bring our vertical up here for this line this point and this point are all going to move up where it is so we draw the line to move up that projection so once it moves up we shall get to understand that if you look for point three we come with three three up to that point if you go up we look for point three so this is three it meets here next is point one and four so one comes here it goes up here it is so this is one then four is here again we go up it goes and meets this other one here and then which other one two two is here it goes up it meets here so that means if you are going to join lines then this line from this corner to this edge to this uh, point is what we are referring to as the line of intersection. So we can join it to complete the front elevation. The joining here gives us the front elevation, which is complete. It has all the necessary lines that we need to draw. So that's the front elevation. We can again join to get the plan. So what we are joining is the plan, what we shall see as the plan. Remember, this one is also supposed to be joined. Lastly, but not least, or least but not last, is this one here. Okay, so this is the complete front having the line of intersection, and this is the complete plan. Now, let's do the development for the vertical cylinder because that's a vertical prism. Sorry for misuse of the word cylinder, vertical prism. So, we are going to continue drawing this construction line to the left to the right after extension we can say we want to develop starting from a b c d so this one becomes our a this one is d b this point and this one is c so now if we open it means we are going to carry a b 
and we we need to have four of them because we are opening it at at a we can start here and bring a there b or a b then b this is a b b c c d then back to d a so this is a b c then d c d then a so we shall draw a straight line passing through a vertically upwards so we need this line through a we also need this other one through d we are developing We are opening up the cylinder. Once we have this, we need to bring the top. We need to bring the top. Next, we need to extend the plan. These projection lines. You bring this. Then we also bring this other one at the top. Now we continue projecting this other one at the, the middle one. And of course, we can still draw these lines. For the prism, we also have this other one, the last one. this one meet here we are just developing the vertical prism square prism okay now which one is the midpoint this is a b c d e so at c should be the midpoint so we can elongate c to come downwards to meet the other midpoint or axis we are assuming this is the axis this is one two this is one two so we can bring and draw a 45 degree line at that midpoint where the two axes meet so this axis is meeting this other axis at this point so at that point we draw a 45 degree line Draw that line, a five degree line. Once we have that, we are going to start by the first one is three. Once it goes up to that point, it goes up. So we let that line be projected upwards. So we just here project it upwards. Let it go up. And then again, one and four comes to reach up. Then we have two. The two goes up. 
there again good there they are now we are going to print four and two and three and one to meet those lines again so we bring this four to come straight all away from this side and meet it here the next we bring three and two the center line let it come let it come and go and lastly we can bring number one up here just coming all away from this side let it continue and come on this side here they are you can see this is the movement plan the front there they are and then there they are good now let's start moving let's begin looking for number three this is three it goes up up to here when it goes up we get number three here because this is three let's look at one and four this is one and four comes here this is four and this is one and lastly we have number two here it is once it reaches here it goes up we look for number two two is here so we draw then we are going to complete by joining those points this one gives you a cutout on the vertical prism this cutout is what is giving us a point where the horizontal cylinder will be fixed and then we can have the other sides this side we have this other end it's part of it and lastly not least you know and you know this line will also be visible okay. it will be folded along that line you can also have this it will also be folded along this the development and then lastly it will be folded along so thank you very much for watching my channel and uh, kindly subscribe and don't forget to hit the button enjoy your time